And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some mid-range frostbite. Bringing back this favorite. It's been probably about a month since we've played mid-range frostbite. Just a really solid deck. Uh, last time we did add a Captain Farron at the top end, and I was very happy with that. Um, but yeah, this is going to be just a, another uh, great deck to play. I, I think this deck should be pretty good against the uh, Twisted Fate Elise decks that are really popular right now. And so that's that's one reason why I wanted to try this out, because this deck can have some uh, some beefiness to it. It can have some larger units that come down pretty fast. Um, so in, in those kind of matchups, you don't want the one health units with like Ice Veil Archer and Trifarian Glory Seeker. You won't want those. You'll want, um, well, your Omen Hawk to, to buff up your other things. Your Omen Hawk and your Aver and Trapper, um, Averos and Hearthguard and that kind of stuff. But... It's just a good solid deck, fun one to play. We'll get to it. Uh, this is a classic that's been around for the last few months. Um, and let's try some mid-range Frostbite for Rank Up Sunday. Okay, get some dragons. Probably probably some ramp with the dragons with it, with it being Aurelian Soul. We're gonna mulligan the Assessor, but I think I, I think I like having this kind of stuff against dragons. The one health isn't as important, but, you know, having Frostbite plus Challenger can be pretty nice. Uh, not a great looking Captain Theron. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. For glory. Cool. Get a nice hit for five in. We were forged in dragon fire. And we draw a Brittle Steel. Darn. Thought if I said it loud enough. Okay, that works. They didn't just challenge immediately. No. Okay. Well, at least we, cha we trade. Two drop for two drop. But obviously that could have been better for me. So I'm just going to be kind of putting five health, five power things in play. Like, I'm not going to attack with Ash. Let them kill. So planning on going like Ash and then Hearth Guard and then Assessor. We wear red to honor the fallen. Maybe that's not a good plan. I guess with staring down Dragon Guard Lieutenant, I guess maybe that's not a very good plan. I found a home among the Dragon Guard. We are your people, Anna, and you ours. To arms! Prepare for battle! Honor guide me. I'll protect the villages. I will use that. Sure, I guess. All right, this has gone pretty well for them. Uh, want us, we want to see Enraged Yeti. There we go. That is good. The War Mother will unite us all. So we can unload both of these. Next turn, Assessor. Yuck. The only good news about that is that I have a free attack with the Avaros and Hearthguard now. Um, where before, like, I'd, I'd worry about Repost and I wouldn't necessarily attack into Repost. So I wait on Assessor? Like, we're going to have some large things that we're going to be drawing, so maybe I wait on Assessor. And obviously we have the Captain Farron. I draw one card with Assessor right now, or I can just play Cooling Strike. So I can kill the tracker, but then they go gem on the Screeching Dragon, have those trade, they get to level up Shivana. If I play Assessor, then they just have the 2-1 challenge, the 5-5, five five, and they just have Screeching Dragon kill my Assessor. They still level up Shivana, but then they get to keep Screeching Dragon alive. I 
I guess Siobhan is going to level up from just Screeching Dragon. I guess they could just go Scree Screeching Dragon and challenge the Omen Hawk. That levels that up and turns Shivana into a 6 6. So my Hearth Guard doesn't kill the 6 6. This is our homeland. But okay, so they'll they'll trade these two. Now I teach you the sky. <laughs> yeah, they got a dragon. They got dragon, billy goat, and an eagle. <clears throat> I have a pretty wild deck. Good draw. Good draw. It's a spell I can play here. This doesn't even help, does it? This just goes to four and four. Alright, we need to draw harsh winds. Come on, harsh winds. Nope. Man, that. That game did not work out. Okay, so I think that we should be able to outrace Undying deck. They're going to... It could, us losing this would cause... You know, like, it, we'd have to have a pretty poor hand for us to lose this. Um, which is possible. But I think in general, this should be a very favorable matchup. They don't get to block... But we do, but then we also have Frostbite to, to stop like their attack turn. And then we don't really have to worry about their blocking turn. Get bloody, get so they're gonna need yeah, they're gonna need like a lot of vulnerable and things that block. So like those are the two things they need are vulnerable and things that block. So hired gun. Um, a good a good card there. It's gives them something to block and also gives them some vulnerable. But yeah, they want like the Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker part of the deck and not the Undying part of the deck. Am I playing Ash? Or am I getting Omen Hawk in play first? I, will unite the I think I'm playing Ash. Even if they play something larger that can block Ash, no uh, we'll have. Safeguard our home! The Ash to Frostbite it. Um, very good Chronicler there. That's Yeah, that's awesome, given the Ash vulnerable. Cool. Take that. Success. Get you noticed around here. A chill in the air. Hey FEMA, yeah, I like it quite a bit. By playing Ice Veil Archer, it means I'm not playing Enrage Yeti or Omen Hawk. Because I'm playing Troll Chant on this one. And then I'm probably playing Sejuani next turn. Yeah, so then we're going to play Sejuani. I mean, I guess I could. Ouch. Black Spear. Okay, so we're not going to be able to attack for lethal. We were, I was planning on killing them this next turn with that Ash, but they ended up killing it. Oh, hey, there's another Ash back. It can't be. Of the bounty board today. Faster than my arrow? I think not. So they'll still be able to block with the two two threes. Leaping into action. Which maybe so they let's see, they block three one three one. I guess they can still block with the O three also. 
Maybe I shouldn't even let them block with the two threes. This is fine. I'll take this. I kind of forgot about that card existing, and I could have played around it. Yeah, I didn't need to play the Glory Seeker, it could have just passed. Got kind of fortunate finding another Glory Seeker. Yeah, so I, I should not have played that other Glory Seeker. Wow. I refuse. Okay, well, I guess I shouldn't have counted the game over uh, before it was. Alright, so not scared of the Undying at all. I'm not too scared of that card either. My plan is next turn to Ice Veil Archer, the Ravenous Butcher, and then just kill it with the Trifarian Glory Seeker. Uh, need to find, find like Trifarian Assessor. I don't know my best draw step by now. A Hearth Guard would be better first, I guess. I guess play, get a Hearth Guard, draw Hearth Guard first, and then Assessor afterwards. Or just uh, Captain Farron. That would work too. A true Falyorian welcome. I do not think this deck needs two Farons. Face me. Uh, we don't need two Farons. It's taking them so long. To... There we go. Alright, hopefully we draw something good. Because, yeah, I could definitely lose this now. <laughs> Yuck. These draws. The problem is I could see them just... Okay, I could see them not blocking. And okay, I was planning on using the Harsh Winds, but actually maybe I just do this. So maybe, maybe I should have just... Maybe I should have just challenged here and used that Troll Chant and not done this. But I do need to fight through their blockers. Need to fight through them. Oh my gosh. What are these cards? Only 
the finest serve. One life in exchange for life. Line up. All right, there's Captain Farron. My arrow won't miss. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Um, no, we don't necessarily win now. The game's not over. We're gonna be close. I love that brittle steel draw. That's a great draw. Don't be afraid. The ruination in their hand is pretty likely. So what, what that Brittle Steel draw afforded me the ability to do is to be able to do this. And then uh, just drop Captain Baron. And uh, Captain Farron should be able to finish it out. Looks like Glimpse Beyond. Yep. Just getting a couple Decimates. Should be good. Like if they have like, I don't know, double atrocity? Double atrocity shouldn't matter because the second one I'll have harsh wins. Like they could, they could atrocity. If they have atrocity, unspeakable horror, unspeakable horror. So they need to atrocity right now, put me down to two, and then I cast decimate and they play two unspeakable horrors. Or two warning shots. Not an atrocity. So that should be game. They could have two yeah, two atrocities, one one with each one. It's pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy. That was the harsh winds that I kept in my opening hand. I knew I was gonna need it for turn 17. Cool. As your swing, I'll try out this one out. So we want the things that we don't want the frostbite cards. Perfect. We want like these kind of cards. Perfect. Um, I guess we keep the calling strike to kill an Ezreal. Sure, we'll do that. Could also kill Swain. Um, but we want these things that, that beef things up. Um, I think the old Captain Farron, you had to, like, discard a card to get a Decimate. It didn't just create Decimates like this one does. It was worse. I think you could, like, discard any number of cards and turn them into Decimates, if I remember correctly. So I just I just passed so I could have the troll chant to kind of protect this Trifarian Glory Seeker. So I just played Glory Seeker last turn. I would have had no protection, and they would have you know Mystic Shotted it. Okay, it just re it just replaced your hand with Decimates. Yeah. Okay, it wasn't like a choose. You just discard them all, and then they all turn into Decimates. Ugh. That's annoying. All right, I'm not gonna deal with that. We're gonna just try to sit back and keep this alive. Really, Babbling Bjerg? I couldn't have had you on turn four. We fight for one prayer, Lord. You didn't want it to show up. Last turn would have been pretty nice. Mine. 
Actually, I decided, uh, you know, we could attack Hearthguard into Spiderling, but, sp but then they could use Ravenous Flock. And they could have Ravenous Flock. Okay, and they, they kill that thing, and that's okay. I don't want them killing my Hearthguard <laughs> with a Ravenous Flock. Yeah, that's how good Ravenous Flock is. You just get to trade crappy Spiderling and the one mana removal spell and kill my five mana 5-5. Five five. Probably just going Babbling Bjerg here. Good Sajwani. This is our homeland. Good Sajwani next turn, though. Faster than my arrow? I think not. So they have a filled hand, ten cards. They played a progress day card that I was saying that uh, that deck should be playing whenever whenever we played Ezreal Swain yesterday. Today we fight as one. I'll just make this attack before they ravenous flock my ash. Okay, they're gonna ravenous lock that thing. Guess that means they have, you know, thermogenic beam or something else to kill Ash. They go Leviathan, you know, like we have Sejuani plus Culling Strike. If not, we can play a 9-9. Nine -nine. It's pretty big. A 9-9 nine -nine plus draw three cards. They're going to use Noxian Guillotine, looks like. Scorched Earth. Okay. So they had two cards they needed to take down my 9-9, but I also got to draw three cards. So if I do this, I'm looking at eight mana left. Dang, I need one more. I need nine total for Sejuani plus Culling Strike. Maybe I'll just try to get this attack for four in. I want to keep Sejuani, you know, I want to be able to have Sejuani kill Leviathan. I don't think they really have Nexus healing, so they have to worry about their Nexus also, and I have Triple Decimate. I'm a little surprised this worked. Harvey, what do you got? What do you choose? By my hand, the Nexus rise. Pain is nothing. They don't know what they're up against. Basically just trying to take out... Time for a true display of skill. I need to make sure that they don't kill me... Um, I really just need to make sure that, you know, they have the attack token next turn. And as long as they don't kill me with the attack token next turn, we're going to be fine. So just taking these things out. I can decimate on their turn and you know, decimate again on my turn. Need to make sure that they don't kill me. <clears throat> this next turn. And so I think that we're fine now. Glory, courage, excuses for war. That can do seven damage to me at most. I guess they could have seven fast speed damage to respond to the decimate on my turn. Okay, cool. We get to block. Okay, cool. 
basically they had Mystic Shot to stun that thing. That's where we could have been in, in trouble. They like after doing that, then they Mystic Shot stun that. They put me down to five. I play the other Decimate, and they go get excited Mystic Shot. Okay, two and one. Yeah, I still think Captain Farron's good as a one of. I think it's I think it is a very good one of. But I do, even with that, like I don't really want a second. Herman, thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. Four awesome months now. It says love your content, stream, and YouTube. Keep it up. Thank you, Herman. I well I I really appreciate that support. You're, um, you know, allow me to, to do this, and thank you so much. This is the kind of game where we want, where we want all of our buff stuff again. Yeah. Averroes and Trapper. Would have been ideal here. Winter, take you. Faster than my arrow? I think not. My arrow won't miss. And some good ramp. Okay, I think I'm just going to go right to attacks. I mean, I guess I don't have to. I could play Ice Veil Archer and Trifarian Glory Seeker and stuff first. Let's see, Ash is at zero. The best they can do is like Trundle's Ice Quake, which I guess that Trundle's Ice Quake would be pretty, pretty backbreaking. So I go Archer, they go Ice Quake. Yeah, no, let's just attack. Nothing's tougher than a troll. Oh, I should calling strike this first. I guess I shouldn't let that level up, should I? I was already planning on calling striking the trundle anyway. I guess I should have just done it during combat to not let that level up. Um, I guess you know, like they could have like infinite mind splitter. Then maybe I need to kill the infinite mind splitter. Will no one listen? So now we can wait. See. All right, no infinite mind splitter. I guess they could have just gone with the Trundle's Ice Quake there too after I played this Babbling Bjerg. That may have been bad. Okay, so they can Aurelian Soul next turn. Okay, good play. I'm not going to play out farther into Ice Quake. Uh, that's more annoying. So we're still at one. A chill in the air. That gets. Gets through the spell shield. Not exactly sure why or how, but it does. And we should have this. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. All we gotta do is just flash freeze next turn. 
attack. I guess they could have like hush. Yeah, they they need a hush to stay alive, which is which is a possibility. They do have Hush, and can stay alive. I'm gonna kind of be in trouble. Um, I could challenge here still. Not. Like they have to Hush Ash, so that then they get to block. And they can block with some zero powers. Doesn't look like a hush. Looks like a three and one. There we go, GG's. A new Freljord will rise. Whenever we looked at like the the last patch notes, and you know, I I, I was definitely one that, that said the trundle needs to be nerfed some. And it, it has the four five has made a big difference on it. Um, and it has it hasn't looked as good at four five for sure as four six. I think that maybe it could go back to being 5-5. Five, five. I like I like the 5 health, not 6 health. I think the 6 health is too much. But I do think that maybe it could, it could be a 5-5. Uh, five, five. So this is a good hand. Omenhawk, Trapper, Hearthguard. Like, that's what we want against removal heavy decks. So that's good. And Captain... So maybe I just keep Captain Farron, considering I already have good other early stuff. We have seen that against these really late game control decks. Captain Farron being a good finisher. You know, it's unintuitive to keep the 8-mana card in hand, but I think the fact that we already have other good early stuff that we like, uh, we can keep the Captain Farron. And, and yes, Omen Hawk does die to go hard, so usually we want to stay away from the cards that, that die to go hard, but Omen Hawk's the exception because it makes it buffs up a couple of other units. And it makes them more difficult to kill. Like, for example, buffing up this Trifarian Assessor. Very useful. Now, I'm not using Troll Chant to save. Not using Troll Chant to save that. I'm going to have Troll Chant protect Enraged Yeti, Avaros, and Hearthguard. Have it protect those things for my Trifarian Assessor. But on me mask, secure me tail, start to die. The War Mother will unite us all. Today we fight as one. Could just pass cause, like with them passing. Maybe I do. The, you know, like we could we can attack and have brittle steel. Um, maybe I just also pass. We'll just, we'll just end the round. That's okay. And now we'll have Enraged Yeti, Trifarian Assessor. I got ways to find me mushrooms. <laughs> RR! That still works. Good black spear. So if I said Juani, I just I have one mana left. I don't. I, may, I guess I should be attacking against a ruination deck. Walked into ruination earlier, and I guess I'm doing it again now. But if they do ruination. Four of me. At least I have a six-seven that I'm attacking with for six with. Carved from the savage cold. I should probably stop doing that. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Enough. I'll end this. 
Yeah, so even even the fact that they did have the Ruination, we still had our, you know, 6-7 Sejuani. 8 Captain Farron. But still not bad. Not and, ready. and I have all of these cheap, efficient, very big threats. We're going to... Uh, go out there. I mean, they could ruination again. That that would be fine. You know, we'd still put twelve power into play. Uh, okay. So if I do this one, then they ruination. Then I got seven power still. It's just not very likely that they have another ruination, right? So you know, I think that vengeance is more likely, and so I want to play more things so like they don't just like vengeance my Captain Farron uh, and everything like that. But we'll we'll go with this. We have five mana for decimate. Yep, and there's the Vengeance. Should be good, just four cards. another one of these. And then I think I go Culling Strike right here. I can wait till next turn. Cause they can stay alive with the Decimate with, you know, Grass the Undying, Withering Whale, that kind of stuff. So we'll just not take this damage. I don't like that I can only play one card. Ten mana. I can only play one of these cards. Like, if I play Decimate, and then they have... Uh, you know, they do have Grass the Undying. We don't actually kill them. So I don't like that I can only play one card. Let me try this route. They could have... Double grasp the undying and kill both of these. That would be sad. So they discarded those two cards instead of discarding these mushroom clouds. A little strange. Those two cards w would have kept them alive after this. Or mushroom clouds do not. That was a good fading memories. One candle for every soul. You are mine. Just kept him alive, I guess. That's pretty good. My time. Six damage to me. With three mushroom clouds. Oh, that's a harvest right there. And there we go, GG's. Alright, four and one. Even with me not playing around that ruination like I really should have. Still finish out that four and one. One copy of Captain Farron is all you need. You just need to have that one. And you just go find that one. GG's. Alright, so that's that's mid-range frostbite. Uh, and you know, just a, a good solid deck that you know is pretty under the radar. As far as like 
tier one decks that win a lot whenever you play it and are really good this deck is is really under the radar it's not you know it's not the deck that a lot of you know a lot of people talk about as like best decks in the format and stuff like that but it i think it just continues to be um every time that we play it we're <laughs> putting up a really good record and it looks really strong so i i like this one a bit and i, I like this list we've been using the same list for a little bit you know that one captain farron has been pretty clutch and uh this list works out so there we go that's mid-range frostbite all right those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well but thank you so much for watching some mid-range frostbite and i'll see you for the next video